All right, guys, what is going on? We are at day seven. I thought today would be a good day to vlog. Um, today's work day is from 10 in the morning till eight at night. It's about quarter to eight in the morning right now. And I'm still waking up. <laughs> this morning, pre-workout and first meal was coffee. I'm actually training faster this morning. I purposely ate or carb loaded uh, last night after I trained because I knew that I'd have a couple of hours this morning before before work to go and smash a workout and continue on with my day and have my first meal um, after I train before I go to work. So, with that being said, guys, last night uh, was a chest was meant to be a push workout, chest, shoulders, and triceps. Um, I was in a little bit of a rush, so I only got through uh, my compound movements for chest and I got through my side delt movements. Uh, for shoulders. So what I've still got to do is isolation movements for chest, so some fly sort of movements, as well as pressing movements for shoulders and triceps. So this morning I'm not rushed, I've got at least an hour and a half. I'm going to start off with some shoulder press. From there I'm going to go into some isolation chest movements and to finish I'm going to blast the shit out of my triceps and finish off with an amazing pump feeling fantastic on top of the world and ready to crack into the day. So with that being said guys, I'm not going to film anything in the gym, I'm just going to go in there and smash it out. I am feeling pretty damn good this morning, so first things first, I'm going to go and warm up my shoulders just like I did last night. I don't normally hit chest again the day after, I mean chest is something that puts a lot of strain on your shoulders. Um, I tend to, you know, think about longevity in the sport, whereas a few people that I know don't, um, they smash heavy weight every single session. And I'm not sure how I'm going to get out of my door now because these guys are quite close, but I'll see you guys after I work out. Alright guys, what is going on post workout? Uh, the workout was great, I feel absolutely fantastic, I'm feeling very, very satisfied knowing that I went back this morning and finished off what I didn't do last night. So now shoulders and chest are completely done. I can now move on to the next muscle group, which I'll most probably do tonight. Um, I'm really feeling like I want to hit deadlifts again. They, they fuck me up, man. Um, you know, if my lower back really is giving me strife, I'll go for rack pulls because, you know, that, that extra movement just down to the floor puts so much extra st stress on your, um, your spine and your lower back. Uh, but it's up to you what you guys do. But anyways, post-workout, what I'm looking for is 50 grams of protein and 100 grams of carbs, as well as uh, I'm going to put some creatine in there too. So first things first, I'm going to get a shake going. And then after that, I'm going to get a couple of meals um, to take to work with me. Everyone complains about how hard it is to keep your food up when you're trying to bulk. You've just got to think ahead, man. It's not, it's not hard. It's not hard. And take advantage of shakes where and when you know, you should and where and when you can. But what I would say about shakes is that use real food. Don't use, you know, mass gainers. Um, I fucking hate mass gainers. Rich Piano bought out something called Real Food, which is apparently using real food. That kind of product, I would agree with. As far as a mass gainer that's packed full of sugar and, you know, full of shit, proprietary blends, who knows what the fuck it is, uh, stay away from that shit. It's not going to give you the nutrients you need from real food. So if, with that being said, if I'm going to make a shake, I'm going to use all real food ingredients. I'm going to use protein powder, egg whites, banana, mixed berries, and oats. And it tastes absolutely fantastic. You've got two sources of protein, three sources of carbs, and it's absolutely what I need. So with that being said, I'm going to get into it. So we've got two scoops. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make enough for a shake now, and also I'm going to take one to work. Uh, it's going to be one of my meals. So I'm going to put, I'm going for 100 grams of protein and 200 grams of carbs. Total. Split up into two. So, two scoops of protein powder. That's 50 grams of protein. And the other 50 is going to come from, no, fuck, no egg whites. Oh well, that's something I've got to get. Scratch that, we're going four scoops of protein powder. Now, I wouldn't recommend getting, you know, so much protein from protein powder. I'd, I'd rather food, but like I just said, if 
Fuck, I didn't realize I had no egg whites. So, 100 grams of protein right there. I'm going to put in two bananas. The way I usually see it is a banana is about 25 to 30 grams of carbs per banana, depending on the size. So I'd say these are about, I'd say 30. So that's 60 grams of carbs. I'm going to want to put, um, I want 100 grams of carbs from oats. So we're going with around about 180 to 200 grams. So with that being said, I'm going to guesstimate about that much. What have we got? We've got 160 carb, 170 carb, there's 5 grams per scoop in the protein powder. 100 grams of protein and 30 grams of carbs from mixed berries. So, uh, we're looking at around about 400 grams. The whole thing's 500. So you know what? Fuck it. It's going in there. We're going for bulk today. Now, there's so much flavour in here, you don't need milk whatsoever, so I use water. Jesus Christ, it's going to be a big shake. That's what we want. Alright, more water. Fucking hell. Look at this thing. Alright guys, so, here it is. Uh, one, one serve is going in here to take to work with me. And I'm going to drink some. Honestly, it tastes so good, I wish I didn't have to rush, but I do. Looks like I'm going to have to take it in two. Two shakes, I'm going to skull the rest of this. Oh. God damn. Honestly, probably shouldn't have put so many berries in there. Because that's what I was using to make the volume bigger when I was cutting. Now that I'm bulking, I think I'll leave the berries out. Because all they do is just make it really fucking big. Alright. Okay, now, as well as that, I'm going to take a thing of rice, which is 450 grams. We've got a total of what's for, about 130 grams of carbs and three cents of tuna. As well as that, I'm taking a kg of kangaroo mince. If I do get the chance to cook it, um, it'll be a, a great meal. If not, I'll just put the tuna with the rice. Um, and bring this home and cook it later. In fact, I can't see myself getting a chance to cook it, so I am going to just chuck that back in the fridge. Um, now, as far as protein goes, obviously I've only got a small amount of tuna, and most of my protein throughout the day is coming from shakes. Um, not ideal, but it's what I'm going to have to deal with today. If I do get a chance to maybe buy like a Subway or something like that, I might. Um, but total macros for today that I'm aiming for, 450 to 500 grams of carbs, 80 grams of fat, and 200 to 250 grams of protein. I'm not exactly sure, but um, all of this total should be around about 150 grams of protein, around about 330 grams of carbs, and fat is extremely minimal. So we're on the right track. I'm going to pack all this shit up, get changed, and head to work, and I'll see you guys later on in the day. Peace. I'm from uh, Levy Torch. Alright guys. So we're just chilling at Secure Care. This is my this is my place of work. I um if you didn't know I look after uh, intellectually disabled men. <laughs> this is my mate Kerry. Levy Torch. Who's Michael Jackson in an Aboriginal man's body? Show us some Michael Jackson moves, bro. Dancing, dancing. Billy Jean. He's the man. Anyways, we're about to go out. He's going swimming. And um, I'll check in with you guys later.
You right, bro? What do you got there? Oh, cake. You got cake? Guess what? I got a cookie. That's even better. Sorry, mate. Guys, it's times like this. It's times like this when we have staff morning teas that I really, really thank myself for going back into a surplus. Because I can have things like this. And it's all going to the games, man. It's going to games. I fucking trained hard this morning. And last night. Any food I'm ingesting right now is just going to go straight to the games. I'm telling you. Here's my other man, Lazzy. What's up, Laz? Yeah. You're on camera now, mate. He's doing his morning routine, morning job. Feeding some chickens. Because if he doesn't do that, he doesn't go out to town. He's learning slowly. And I must say, guys, what an absolute stunner of a day. But that is exactly what you get every single day around here, guys. No filter. No fucking filter needed, I'm telling you. Beautiful weather every single day. It's one of the main reasons why, why I'm still here. Alright guys, quick update. It's about 3 in the afternoon. I am absolutely exhausted. We haven't had an ideal day here at work, but that's what happens in this job. Um, you just got to roll with it and, um, and go with the flow. So anyways, three o'clock, I finish in about five hours. I've had all three of those shakes. Well, I had the one this morning and I had the two shakes that I brought to work. Really, really glad I did that. It made it extremely easy to continue taking in the nutrition I need to stay in a surplus. So with that being said, I've got three tins of tuna and the 450 gram uh, thing of rice. So I'm about to head back into town right now, uh, pick up a client, bring them back. When I do come back, it'll probably be about five o'clock and I'm planning on having half of that rice as well as all of the tuna. And then come eight o'clock, we'll see how I feel. If I feel like I need some more carbs, feel a bit empty, I'll have the remainder of the rice. But if not, that will be my nutrition uh, for the day before I work out. It's going to be legs tonight. Um, I'm going to hit back really hard tomorrow, so I'm going to make sure I get legs out of the way before I do that, because if I try and hit legs after I do deadlifts, it's a no-go. So that is the plan, guys. Hope you're having a great day. The weather's beautiful. You can't beat it. I'm in a good mood. Let's continue on with the work day. All right, everybody. Pre-workout meal. Three tins of tuna with about two thirds of this container. So we've got around about 300 grams cooked weight of rice and three tins of tuna, which is about, I don't know, 250 grams total. So perfect uh, pre-workout meal. I've had to, I've been forced to push this meal back because I didn't have time to eat before. So, you know, I don't want to eat the whole thing. I mean, that's probably a bit too much. Um, it's about seven o'clock right now. So I've got another hour of work, then I'll be going home, grabbing a pre-workout of my choice, which is basically a caffeinated beverage, because um, that's really the only ingredient that I, I, I tend to look for in a pre-workout. Um, and that'll be it, so I'm gonna get through this. Um, those, those cookies you saw me eat this morning, I had three. So I've counted them as a, the equivalent of a, a chocolate bar each which means they're around about 200 to 250 calories each. So I've, I've counted for them. As far as the total macros for the day, I'll let you guys know what they are when I know. But what I do know is that this is going down, legs are going down tonight, and following that is gonna be a fucking awesome post-workout meal, which I'll show you when we get there. But I'm gonna get into this, and I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, what is going on? Post leg training, what a fucking session. I'll tell you what, 300 grams of rice makes for a good session. I never actually have rice, I might, I might do that more often. But uh, either way, started off with box squats, went on to goblet squats and finished with leg extension. So 
awesome pump. I'm going to go home now and make a pre -work, uh, post workout meal uh, for the ages. It's going to be a real feast, so I'm going to show you guys exactly what I have. And someone's talking to me, so let me see what they say. What's up? <laughs> nah, they're gone. So I'll see you guys at home. Peace. Alright guys, what is going on? Uh, looking at exactly what I've had today, I've actually had quite a bit. So, you know, the, the, um, the three shakes, I had one before I went to work, I had two at work, were made up of two bananas, 160 grams of oats, four scoops of protein powder, which I don't normally use that much protein powder, as I said, but I didn't have any egg whites this morning and I still wanted a good amount to last me throughout the day, a good amount of protein. So at the end of the day, MTS Whey is extremely high quality, the amino profile is great, I trust Mark Lobliner. And, you know, he's the man, so I support the brand, and the taste is amazing, so you can't go wrong with that. But anyways, with that being said, two bananas, 160 grams of oats, four scoops of protein powder, and 500 grams of frozen berries. So that was the three smoothies that I had. Uh, 300 grams of white rice, three tins of tuna, and those three cookies that I had at work. Well, I actually showed you guys one cookie. I ended up having three. So what I did was I entered those into my fitness pal as two fun size Snickers bars each. So they came out to be about 500 calories total, so I added that on, of course. So at the end of the day, right now, post-workout, we're sitting at 185 grams of protein, 391 grams of carbs, and 69 grams of fat for a total of 2,955 calories, which really, you know, some people for some people, that would be a surplus amount of calories. After my competition last year in October, I made a series called Dirty Bulk. Well, it wasn't called Dirty Bulk at the time, but now I've renamed it Dirty Bulk. So I've got one, one video for weeks one to three, one video for weeks four and five, and one video for weeks six to eight. Because after my show, I pretty much slammed my body with a whole heap of food. I sort of had in my, the back of my mind an excuse to do that because I wanted to make the most of the anabolic rebound. Um, all that happened was I just was taking in way too much food. I tracked everything meticulously for those eight weeks, even though I was dirty bulking as such. And it worked out to be around about 4,800 calories a day I was taking in. And I was putting on around about a kg per week. So if we look at it like that, you know, obviously, if you're putting on around about a kg a week, uh, you know, fuck all of it is going to be muscle, but regardless of that, if you're putting on a kg a week, that means you're in a surplus of around about a thousand calories a day. So if you think of it like that, if I was on 4,800 calories and I was in a, a surplus of a thousand calories a day, bring it back to 3,800, you know, I reckon training hard every, pretty much every day and, you know, having a job where I walk around a little bit, um, I would be probably at maintenance at around about 35 to 3,800. So with that being said, I am aiming for around about 4,000 calories a day. This post-workout meal is going to be some kangaroo mints. I'm going to cook up. Well, I'm going to cook up the whole kg. Um, I'll probably use around about a serve and a half, which would be about two, 220 or 250 grams worth, which will give me like 50 grams of protein. No carbs, no fat. We've got a wrap, which I'm going to use to put the mints in. And, as I said before, I'm going to use the remaining rice. So we're going to make some sort of uh, burrito, chipotle thing, wrap. It's going to be good. Kangaroo mints, rice, and satay sauce by Fountain, which is my all-time favourite so far. If you know of a satay sauce available in Australian supermarkets that I can get that you think is good, let me know because satay is my favourite flavour. So, rice, kangaroo, satay, wrap, and we'll see where we're at when I'm done. So we are done. What we have, one wrap, 250 grams kangaroo, 150 grams white rice, 40 mils of satay sauce, we got 66 grams of protein, 
84 grams of carbs and 19 grams of fat with a total calorie count of 789. Right, so obviously that brings me to around about you know, 3,700 calories. I do still have room to move, so I am going to have a second post-workout meal, probably just before I go to bed, which is going to be nice. Um, and I will tell you guys exactly what I have when I know. But uh, with that being said, guys, I'm probably not going to wrap this up because there's way too much shit here. So I'm just going to eat it with a fork. But yeah, it doesn't look like, you know, it's not that appetizing, it doesn't look that appetizing, but it's exactly what my body needs post-workout, and honestly, it looks appetizing to me, so I'm going to tuck in, and I'll see you guys at the next meal. Alright guys, meal number five, is it? For the day six, maybe? I don't know. Either way, I am actually still hungry, it's only been about an hour since I ate that wrap. And I'm about to have my last meal of the day, although I don't want it to be, to be honest. I want to eat more, but I don't want to push it too far. So we've got the trusty whiteboard out again. This is what I had pre-workout. This is what I had post-workout. And right now, before I go to bed, I'm going to have this meal here, which is 80 grams of oats, 250, grams, uh, 250 mils of uh, skim milk, and one banana, as well as some maple-flavored syrup which is the shit, and I will continue to use because it sweetens my food without adding too many calories. So with that being said, guys, with that being said, the totals are 4,214 calories, 271 grams of protein, 562 grams of carbs, and 98 grams of fat. So, honestly, guys, honestly, on a normal day where... I train, you know, really intensely, and I do probably about 10,000, 12,000 steps in a day. Um, I think that's probably around about perfect, to be fair. You know, protein, I, I don't think you should be pushing it, you know, 1.5 grams per pound of body weight, but at least, you know, if you're going to be trying to put on muscle, I think you'd want at least a, a gram per pound of body weight, and... In saying that, you want to use the value of, of the weight that you want to get to um, to calculate your macros too. So let's say I want to get to 220 pounds, I'm going to calculate it at from 1 gram to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. So that's, you know, from 220 up to, you know, 260, 270. Honestly, yeah, 270 does sound really, really high, it, especially for a natural. I don't know if I'm going to be using it all, but... At the end of the day, I don't want to be taking in too little. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I might do a bit more research on that. But as far as you know, fats go, I do believe that from 80 to 100 grams is going to be perfect for me. The mistake I've made in the past with bulks is to add too much fat into my diet. I don't know, man. Anyways, I'm going to get into this meal. Here we have it. Hope you guys can see. It is, as I said, 80 grams of oats, a cup of milk and one banana with some maple flavored syrup and it's delicious and once again exactly what I need before I go to bed I want, want to put myself in an anab anabolic state which is so funny because literally a week ago I, I felt the complete opposite um, now if I wake up and I'm hungry in the mornings I'm like sweet first meal boom let's go you know but in saying that, I think I am going to use uh, intermittent fasting in the future if I overeat the night before. You know, I have no problem with fasting up until 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. If, and if I'm not training until that night, and I've eaten a shitload of calories the night before where I know I've just gone completely overboard and blown out, um, I'm not going to eat first thing that morning. I'm just going to ride it out and intermittent fast a little bit until I feel good enough to eat again. So, with that being said guys, that's going to wrap up my first full day of eating I think I've ever done. Next video, I'm not sure what day it'll be, but I really hope you guys are enjoying. It's keeping me motivated. I'm extremely motivated right now to make gains. You know, those extra sets in the gym that I wouldn't have done before when I knew I was in a deficit because in the back of my mind I'm always thinking I'm not going to grow from this workout, you know, because I'm not giving my body the fucking food it needs. So now that I am, you know, those sets are getting done 
they're getting done with intensity. If I need to take more rest time, I will. You know, I'm probably spending more time in the gym now than I ever have. Um, I'm loving it. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day or a great night, wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. As I said, extremely motivated right now. Uh, I wish you guys all the best and keep following along to see how many gains I can make in one year. I'm going to go to bed, so peace. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up.